Hey guys, I'm Sean. I'm um, 18 from Morris, Illinois. I um, take a few minutes out of your time to tell you about uh, my life and how the Lord has uh, changed me and turned me into the person I've become now. Um, first of all, you know, before you go to high school, you're thinking, oh man, I'm never going to drink, I'm never going to, you know, do those drugs, I'm never going to, you know, get out there and do those things, which is awesome. And then you actually get there, and like, it's a whole world, like, people are throwing things in your face, parties you have to go to, people you have to meet, things you have to do to be cool. And I fell into something like that, you know. I fell into drinking and uh, doing drugs and uh, didn't know the Lord at all. I was going to parties every weekend, drinking every night, smoking weed all day, uh, meeting women, and uh, my life was in the dumpster. Between those moments, between getting drunk and, and smoking the pot and hanging out with the girls, I was constantly depressed, not happy, you know. I felt like there was more that I needed and I, I filled those holes with those things. And uh, by the time I graduated, my life was completely in, a, in the hole. I uh, was, wasn't happy at all, didn't know where my life was going, I was debating about college and where I wanted to do with that about girls I knew, and I just didn't know what I was going to do with my life. And I became very dependent on uh, drinking a lot more and smoking weed. And I'd, I'd wake up and I'd smoke and I'd, all day long, and then I'd get drunk that night and to the point of blacking out. And it was my way of uh, suppressing that pain of not knowing who I was or what to do with my life. And then um, one night after this party of drinking, I got a, I fell asleep in my, my buddy's car. And I, my, I was so messed up, I was so scrambled from the things that I was doing to myself that I couldn't even figure out how to unlock the door to get out of this car. I, I was trapped. And I, I became terrified. And um, I, I wanted to get out so bad, I was, I was kicking and I was pushing. And, I was using all my force to get out of the out of this room that I was enclosed in, and I, I was running away from something inside that that car that I didn't know what it was. found out what that was, that it was God in that car with me saying, get out of this place, get out of this lifestyle, come to me, stop what you're doing now and, and, and live a good life with me. And I was saying, no, this is, this is what makes me happy. And I was lying to myself, I was still blind. And I ended up getting out of the car by breaking his window and crawling out and running for the life that I thought I had. On our It wasn't until uh, a month later after that incident that uh, my buddy came home from a, a missions trip and he told me about the Lord and all the great things he was doing. And he uh, invited me to come to the CYC in Morris, that's where I found the Lord. They were reading Romans 12 that night and that, 
that part of the scripture just really spoke to me, redirected my life. And since that moment, I, I've smiled without the things that I, I thought I needed. I became happy. I was filled with the Holy Spirit. And uh, my life has direction, hope, and meaning. I have something to live for and places that I want to go to help spread the word and live a good life. So I pray for you guys that are listening to this message that you will do what you need to do to be with the Lord and walk your life. Thanks. most radical thing I've experienced is uh, God's grace.